because minus stroke, it's a very uh, difficult to treat and uh, uh, cohort. And it's commonly defined as an NIHS score of less than five or, or equal to five. And up until recently, there hasn't been much uh, options in treatment or evaluation. And a lot of the major thrombolysis trials have excluded the minor ischemic stroke co cohort. Uh, recently, however, the antiplatelet trials have focused on high-risk TIA and minor ischemic stroke. But previous meta-analytic efforts have only focused on TIA alone. So what we have done, and only just presented in this morning's uh, uh, forum, is the results of uh, what we believe is the world's first meta-analysis of minor ischemic stroke. What we did, um, we identified all randomised controlled trials and observational studies that described an NIHSS score of less than or equal to five minor stroke cohort and approached every author and institution that had held this data in order to combine it and synthesise into a final outcome of what is the 90 day stroke recurrence rate of minor ischemic stroke. And uh, we just, we've just announced the results only an hour or so ago. Uh, the synthesised number is 8.4%. Of course, the results go beyond this initial figure though. Um, but beyond the headline figure, we also did multi-level modelling. We did subgroup analysis, we did meta-regression, all within this um, complicated uh, statistical framework. And then we looked at different subgroups as well and how they were different, was it statistically significant, etc. But the ultimate headline figure for today is a 90-day stroke recurrence rate of 8.4% for minor ischemic stroke. So this is important because we haven't actually got previous results to compare to. This is the first one. Um, similar work has been done in transient ischemic attack and this result matches up. So the risk seems to be roughly equal to um, transient ischemic attack 90 day risk. And th for instance, um, Wu, uh, Sanders, Najib, etc., have also looked into TIA and found similar results. So this implication means maybe this group, which was traditionally thought to have very high recurrence rate and up to 18% in some of the earlier observational studies, maybe this justifies this group being included into this uh, high risk TIA minor stroke antiplatelet cohort. And that then sets the future direction for the next few years of what we're going to do, how we're going to get that 8% lower what we're going to, how we're going to rearrange our services, how we're going to, what are we going to target to improve outcomes. So it opens up a lot of exciting possibilities in the future for stroke research. Uh, so subgroup analysis did end up being statistically significant. Um, the, not surprisingly, the randomised controlled trial, trial arms had the lowest rate. The control arms had slightly higher rate makes sense because mo uh, many of these large trials that were published were uh, positive for the treatment effect of dual antiplatelets in this group. And also unsurprisingly, most of the observational studies have the highest rates of recurrence, up to 14%.